This was the first public hearings that we've had into the impeachment inquiry into President Donald Trump. And we heard from two seasoned, longtime American diplomats who uh, were talking about, uh, from their perspective, what they saw in terms of Trump's uh, dealings with Ukraine and the overall policy of the Trump administration toward Ukraine. Uh, what we what we learned uh, in these hearings is that there was uh, confusion, there was uncertainty oftentimes about what the posture of the U.S. US uh, relationship with Ukraine was under Donald Trump and a lot of questions about whether a package of military aid uh, that Congress had approved for Ukraine was being held up uh, so that Trump could get the Ukrainians to launch an investigation into uh, Joe Biden, uh, who is one of the front runners for the Democratic nomination and the Democratic National Committee. The Democratic strategy is to uh, really put the Trump White House's relationship with Ukraine under a magnifying glass and look at it through the prism of people who are non-political, who are not opponents of President Trump or supporters of President Trump, are just career diplomats, who sort of know how the process is supposed to work and looked at this situation and said, hey, there's something wrong here, there's something going on here. Republicans say that this is a complete political charade, that this is simply about uh, trying to undermine the Trump presidency, get him out of office, invalidate the last election, uh, and that Democrats are just grasping at anything they can to make that happen. And they try to portray the situation with Ukraine as essentially above board. There was one new wrinkle, one new piece of information from Bill Taylor. He says that he uh, has learned in recent days that a staff member of his uh, overheard a conversation between President Trump and another diplomat, uh, Gordon Sondland, in which Trump could be heard on the phone uh, asking about the investigations. So the strategy from the White House is essentially uh, to have the president out there at the forefront of it, defending his actions, uh, calling this a political charade, um, urging you know his supporters to uh, see this as just a, a witch hunt. Uh, there's not much in terms of you know real organization that's happening, but they actually feel like they're being pretty successful with that with that strategy of having the president just out there defending his actions uh, and encouraging his supporters to do the same.